Welcome to the lecture series of Mechanics of Solids. In this lecture, we will learn about the moment of inertia. Outline of this session. In this session, we will learn about first introduction of moment of inertia, equation to determine moment of inertia, unit of moment of inertia, and field application of moment of inertia. So let us start with introduction of moment of inertia. In this figure, a simply supported beam AB is there, which is having total span 4 meter. The beam is subjected to central point load of 20 kN at the center. Now we know how to determine the moment of force. Suppose at A point we want to determine what moment has been created by this force so that moment is called moment at point a equal to force into distance so here the force is 20 kN and distance of this force from point a where we want to work out moment that is 2 meter so the moment at point a due to 20 kN force will be 40 kN into meter this is called moment of force. In this figure, consider a thick lamina which is having total area A. This point is centroid of this lamina. Cg of this point is at a distance of x from oy axis and at distance y from ox axis now the lamina is having area a here we have taken the moment of force instead of that if we take moment of area so area is a and we want to take moment of this area about this axis oy axis so it will be So here moment of area about OY axis that is equal to area of lamina into perpendicular distance of CG of area from OY axis. So area is A and perpendicular distance of this lamina from OY axis that is X. So this is called moment of area about any axis. It is also called first moment of area about the axis. This first moment of area is used to determine the center of gravity of the area. Now if the moment of area given by this equation is again multiplied with perpendicular distance between the CG and area of OY means again multiply with distance X then it will be so this quantity that is area into distance into distance is known as second moment of area or it is called moment of inertia about OY axis this second moment of area is used in the study of mechanics of fluids and mechanics of solids same way the moment of area about OX axis can also be determined. Same way, second moment of area about OX axis or we can say moment of inertia about OX axis that is A into Y square. Now here we have considered the area of lamina. Instead of area of lamina, if the mass of body is taken into consideration then second moment of mass is known as mass moment of inertia so moment of inertia when mass is considered about oy axis that is m into x square and about ox axis it will be 
m into y square that is mass into distance into distance from the reference axis so now let us write the definition of moment of inertia the product of area or we can say mass and the square of distance of the center of gravity of that area or mass from the given axis is known as moment of inertia about that axis moment of inertia is always determined about some reference axis moment of inertia is denoted by symbol i if it is determined about x x axis so it is called i x x and if it is determined about y y axis so it is called i y y now let us see unit of moment of inertia this is the equation of moment of inertia now the unit of area it is let us consider the unit in millimeter so this will be millimeter square and the unit of distance square that is also millimeter square so the unit of moment of inertia it is millimeter raised to 4 or we can say centimeter raised to 4 or it may be meter raised to 4 now consider a lamina which is having area a as shown in this figure now for further analysis let us split this lamina in small elemental areas which is having equal area of da so let us do it so consider this lamina is made up of such number of small elemental equal areas area of each element is da and the distance of this first element from oy axis is x1 and its distance from ox axis is y1 same way the distance of this element from oy axis is x2 and ox axis is y2 same way the distance of all element from reference oy axis and reference ox axis can be shown x1 x2 x3 up to xn are the distance of small element from oy axis and y1 y2 y3 up to yn are the distance of small elements from ox axis now taking second moment of area of this all element about ox axis first now taking second moment of area of this small element about ox axis so first area is da and its distance from ox axis is y square so its second moment of area is da into y1 square for second it is da into y2 square for third it is da into y3 square likewise we can write here now i x x will be equal to summation of all this means d a area is equal and y is variable but we know that summation of all small element that is equal to total area of lamina so the equation of moment of inertia of this lamina about x x axis can be written as a into y square so this is the equation of moment of inertia of any lamina about x x axis now let us determine second moment of area about o y axis similarly the second moment of area of all this element about o y axis so first element area is d a and its distance from o y axis is x1 so second moment of area will be equal to d a into x1 into x1 that is d a into x1 square similarly for second it is d a into x2 square for third it is d a into x3 square likewise we can write for all these small elements finally i y y will be equal to 
summation of da into y square here summation of da that is equal to total area of lamina so moment of inertia of this lamina about y y axis that will be equal to a into y square so this is all about moment of inertia in this figure a beam having cross sectional area a which is having dimension length l and width b is simply supported over the support now here the beam is laid in such a way that width is resting on the support this is the bending action now due to application of load on the beam the beam will deflect and it will be deflect like this so due to application of load the beam will deflect like this here the same beam is kept which is having cross sectional area a length l and width b but here the beam is supported in such a way that the width of beam is resting on the support so here the chances of bending of beam will be very less there will be some bending but in this case the chances of bending will be very less that is due to moment of inertia the moment of inertia reflect how the area of cross section is distributed relatively about the bending axis here the centroid of this area from the axis is less so distance square will be less in this case area remains same but but the distance will be less hence there will be bending but in this case the area will remain same however the distance of centroid from the bending axis will be more so the moment of inertia will be more and and the resistance to bending will be more in this case here the two different cases are there through which the bucket can be handled or bucket can be lifted in the first case the hand is kept vertically and the second case hand is kept horizontally so it is convenient to lift the bucket with the first case because here the distance of centroid from the bending axis will be more and the area is distributed away from the bending axis where in the second case the centroid is nearer as well as the area is distributed near to the bending axis so it will be very difficult to lift the bucket with the second case so these are the field application of moment of inertia thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt or query please write in the comment box i will be there to help you